And it's a warm night on the Costa del Sol for the Scottish dream to come true. The teams lined up in front of us in the shadows, which have lengthened, obviously, as the evening has progressed. But the spectators are in the sunshine, particularly on the far side. And the Russian supporters numbering only the number of players that the managers are originally called upon to name. 40. Two captains, Graham Sunis on the right and Alexander Shevetsa of the Soviet Union on the left. And the referee comes from Romania, Nikolai Rania. Very experienced official. Took part in the 1978 World Cup and has been on the FIFA list since 1967. To attack the goal to our left. And attack has to be the operative word. A May 14, 1974. Indeed, he scored in the last game against Yugoslavia, but it wasn't enough. Robertson's cross. Jordan! Fine save! Lock in. And Ruff did well. Shivadza. He's caught, and here's Jordan. A real chance for Scotland. And he's got Shivatsa caught with two minutes. Besanov, block in. Too high. Block in. Montana and Kwasunis, blocking shot. Enough to cause concern. Seemed to get a, a knock, I think probably from the challenge by, by Archibald. Strachan. Playing with so much confidence, two in the middle, if he can put it across. Just couldn't. Looking for the return from Archibald, who does it himself. Good try. Archibald is the runner in the area. Didn't go far enough for Frank Gray. Thinking about the shot, and does. Gavrilov has gone to the inside left position. Two other Soviet players forward. This is Demyanenko. Half-time team talk from the Soviets uh, coach. Jordan, if he can turn his man, he's in with a chance. And he did well again. And the end of a marvellous half for Scotland, playing with enormous confidence, scoring the goal in the 15th minute through Joe Jordan, who finished really with quite superb style, kept his head after Scotland had a two against one break. Archibald won it initially, Jordan went on and slotted the ball past Dasayev. A goal which Scotland deserved there. Where he left off the first half. Archibald, Walker on the left, Jordan making the run forward. Walker's gone inside him, that's a good try and a lot of sting in the shot. Scotland off in positive search. Let the Soviet side get it out and rough. And the Soviets poised to make a step. Robertson saw the opportunity well and thinks about the shot, tried for the curler. Took it away from Miller, in fact. Lock in. Still block in, and Ruff in trouble. Blocking down the middle. A lot on Neri here. And he forced the early shot, and that was good enough. The referee allows it. Sunis, Strachan is unmarked on the right. Then the pass taking Sunis and Strachan out of the play. And here's Shengalia. Fine tackle. Gavrilov. Shengalia, Gavrilov. And still. Scotland their opportunity, equalises 
with 14 and a half minutes of the second half gone. Took an awful long time, initially Gavrilov, but Shivadza with everybody around the ball and the goalkeeper and nobody on the line. Jordan. And the one that wins it goes through. Walks cross, and Desaia just taking it away from Jordan. It's to the right. Here he is, number six, with the shooting chance. But he hits well, and just wide. And there was nobody really to attack Demienko then, although it looked fairly clear. Wide with saving for the draw. I think it'd be a good thing. I don't understand the Danny Begrain thing, but is that going to be a goal for Scotland? Soon it's shot. Robertson. And the Zion in trouble, and Wall couldn't get to it. And they are left. Blocking. And still. And the free kick given just outside the area. Get on the end of it. Demianenko hits it. And Ruff escapes. Referee says corner. Gavrilov offside. Borowski. Miller. And the two of them get in each other's way. And this is Shengelia to put Scotland out of the World Cup. What a disastrous way for it all to end. Shengelia turns in delight. Scotland desperate to get possession, have a clash of two players, which enables Shengedia to run away unattended, rough backtracking with no real chance to a finisher of Shengedia's quality, and no question now that the Soviet Union... And this perhaps twisting the knife in the wound, but those goals conceded to New Zealand in the end, so important. Here's Sunis. Marvellous goal by Graham Sunis. Just over three minutes left. Is it still possible? So Just outside, now moving in. Miller is up there. David Derry, still there, queuing up in the middle. There's a man over on the far side. It's John Robertson. And the Russian just four and five in the middle. The side comes again, is indecisive. Brazil with the header. Archibald, the goalkeeper, gets it. But the final whistle goes, and Scotland again are denied. And how cruelly they are denied, because it's goal difference that counts for the third World Cup in succession. It seemed they had no chance when they gave a goal away to Shengelia. But Graham soon has pulled one back and made it a memorable finish to Scotland's World Cup of 1982. And before we judge them, let us see how the two successful teams...